Hello everybody, you horrible children. Welcome to Mr. Phyllis' Art School and today it's day two. Not day 11, but day two. And today we're going to be looking at figure drawings. Yes, figure drawings. And we're going to be looking at how to do what I call scribble figure, figure drawings. Now, most of the time when I ask kids to draw me somebody, they do this. They do a stick figure. And they think, done. Isn't that great, Mr. Phillips? And the teacher will say, well, that's not very good. But it is. It's a good start stick figure, and I'll show you why. Now, I've got one of these guys. This is a, a mannequin, and it's an artist mannequin, and it shows you a human body in proportion. And what that means is that it doesn't look odd. Everything's just about right. The legs are the right length, the arms are the right length, and the head's the right size. So, if we look at this stick figure, if we look at my mannequin, sorry, we can see that about half of the body is made up of legs, yeah? And the other half is made up of the torso and the head. So let's have a look at our stick figure again that I drew, and let's imagine that between the top of the head and down to there is halfway, then the legs have got to come down to here. So this is, our stick figure is right, but it's just not finished. So we just need to finish it off. So this is probably the knees, and we can draw down lower limbs or lower legs and some feet there. And this here, this could be our shoulders. And we can draw out some elbows and some hands. Oh, sorry, lower arms and some hands. And there you go. That looks more proportion. Let's do it again. So a stick figure. There. Standard stick figure. But then we turn these into our knees. And our stick figure looks a bit taller. And we give them some shoulders and some arms with some elbows. And one more time, just for good luck. Stick figure, like that. And then halfway, I didn't do that for the first one, but we'll do it down to there, maybe use the feet, join them all up. Remember, it doesn't matter what your draw is. So I found a pencil in my random tin of stuff. And there we go. Now, we need to bulk them out a bit because this guy, he's quite bulky. And these guys look a little bit thin. So this is where we start to scribble. So just like yesterday, do a bit of scribble. Scribbling for the head, scribbling for the neck, scribbling for the, for the torso, for the thighs. Try some scribbly ovals for the lower legs and for the feet and for the arms, a bit skinnier. Just scribble, scribble them all up. Scribble them all up. Same for here. Scribble the chest, scribble the thighs, scribble the lower legs. And do that. There we go. One more. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There we go. We've got three people scribbling. All right. But what if you want to do something a bit more action based? Say we want our figure to be running. Well, let's start with our stick figure. There they are. And you've got to try and work out. Now, if you have a mannequin, that's good. You can just use your mannequin like that and just get them to twist and move them so that they're, they're running. And you can copy that and see the legs there. If not, you can stand up yourself and pose like in a statue like that and see which way we're going. So one knee is forward and the other leg is back. And I think when you're running, you can do something like that. There we go. And then we we'll scribble them in. There we go. We've got our figure running. It's nice and proportionate. The other thing you can do is get other figurines, particularly if you don't have one of these. You may have other figurines at home and just don't realise it. So you may have, look at this one, here's a figurine, this is a statue. So I can use this one as a model. So stick figure. And her arms up. And the other arm is forward. And one knee is coming forward. She's kicking the football with the outside of her leg and stretches out the other one. And there we go, and then we can scribble in the rest of her body. As we get better and better at scribbles and proportions, we start to add clothes and things like that. But today, we're just doing some scribble figures. You may have like toy soldiers. Have a look at this guy. So let's start with a stick figure. And let's have a look at his legs. His legs are sort of out like that. And they're out like that. And one arm is straight out, holding the, the bow. 
And this arm folds back on itself, and that's holding the arrow. And let me stretch this around like that. I'll draw the bow and the arrow. There he goes. <clears throat> Could be a good thing to do with the, the Olympics coming up. Drawing all the Olympic competitors. Give them a bit of a helmet, stuff like that. There you go. You can use whatever figurines you find. Like so, uh, space people and, and pirates and Lego figures. These hero factories, these are great. You can actually see the joints. You can copy the joints of people. And you can do it however you want. I want you to fill up a whole page with just one pencil or pen or text or whatever and just do stick figure and then proportions, make the legs longer, do the shoulders, join on with the arms and then scribble in the rest of the body. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if you need, it's like a, a scribble horde of scribbly people. All right, that will do us for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.